Hello, Bob. How's it going? What you doing? Hey, Caesar. I just finished my new project. You should take a look. Oh, Bob. It's just a cube. No, 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 Caesar. Take a look inside. Hello and welcome to Caesar Snack Sandwich. Today we're taking a look at a Yearn Volt. It's a um, version 2 test volt. It's called the Strategy Idle USDC Volt. It's a test volt as I mentioned so you can get in here at your own risk and I suggest you to contact the developer here, the strategist, and perhaps maybe jump into the Discord, the Yearn Discord, and talk to them about it before you jump in here and, you know, it's risky, but it's not super risky because it's based on the generic version 2 volts and it's not too complicated either. Okay, so it's a test volt. So the, you know, the developer is testing out and learning the new version 2 volt system and using something simple in order to do that. So let's take a look inside and see what's happening. But before we can look at the actual flow of the volt, we should probably understand the underlying protocol, which is the idle protocol. So let's go over there first and take a look what's over there. Okay, so here we are at Idle Finance. Like all the links will be in the description so you can check down there if you want. So Idle Finance, to me this comes across as a very retail investor type protocol where people can come here, it's easy to understand, it's quite simple, it's straightforward. The APYs are not too outrageous and crazy and there's not too much risk in this I would think. Okay, so let's do a quick little take through it. So how it works, you know, let's kind of choose one of these two products that they have. Um, it's currently audited and battle tested, so they speak. So there's $100 million inside. Um, it's backed by some of these larger industry leaders. Now, the only one I can recognize is Consensus. And these are the protocols that they take the yield from or they achieve the yield from compound of a DYDX and oh, uh, MakerDAO. So these are the these are pretty safe protocols. They've had a uh, pretty good history. And if you have any idea about DeFi, you know about all of these. So let's swing over to the two products. So the major difference is this one is focused on gaining yield. And this one is focused on trying to gain yield, but lower risk as much as possible. So let's go into the best yield first. So you would click here. So here we are in the best yield pools. So these are the choices you have. You can deposit one of these tokens. These are pretty common DeFi tokens and pretty safe in their own right. So they have DAI USDC, USDT, SUSD, TUSD, and WBTC. Now, these are the APYs that they're currently gaining and how much is in the pool. And here's are the tokens that they are farming. Now, as you can see, the APYs are not bad on the, um, you know, 6% on the DAI and then also at 2,600 per day of idle tokens. So that's quite a few idle tokens. So you would deposit these tokens in here and you would gain these APYs and so forth. Now over to risk adjusted. How does this differ from this one? Now basically they've taken the less riskier ones out of the play and they're going to restrict the protocols that they interact with. Now, how do they decide what these, that these ones are safe and the other ones are not safe? They use this thing called the DeFi score. Now, I'm not gonna go through all this in deep deal, deep, like deep detail, you can go through this in your time if you really want to understand it, but it's basically a, an assessment of protocols based on a whole bunch of different metrics to decide whether or not that protocol or that coin is safe or not safe. So you can read through this and try to figure it out and find out which, if you like this system or not. So these are the two main products. Best yield, choose a token, stick it in. Real uh, risk adjusted, same kind of idea, but right now they're quite similar. But uh, as you can see, 6.3% and 6.3%. So they're quite similar right now. So it's, I guess in the future when there's more and more and more options, this will be a much smaller list than this will be and so forth. 
Now, another thing that's um, special about this is that they're going to move this around. Like right now, if you notice, this is comp token. So right now they're using the comp token, but they'll also use these other protocols that I mentioned over here at the bottom, you know? Sometimes if they see that the Aave yield is better than the compound, they will swing over to Aave and start using that instead. So that's pretty much the whole protocol. That's pretty much all they're doing. Like I said, it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. But let's take a look at what the yearn volt is doing with this protocol. And for that, we'll swing over to my flow chart. Okay, so before I get into the actual volt, let's take a little closer look at what's happening inside the protocol. And then I'll talk about how the volt changes things. So here we have a little flow chart. And this is a like a retail investor. He's got some money and he wants to invest, but you know, he doesn't have time. He's a businessman, you know, he's got, he's got a job, you know, he can't spend all his time reading DeFi newsletters, reading medium articles and watching Caesar snack sandwich videos and following my Twitter and all that kind of stuff. So what does he do? He comes to idle and he says, Oh, I want to invest. So he sticks one of his tokens inside the idle protocol. So let's say he stuck Y, sorry, a USDC in, he would get back an idle USDC token. So this is his stake, his uh, share of this pool of money. And then idle will take that USDC and stick it in compound. Currently they're using compound mostly because the variable APY is the best. Now this APY is based purely on the lending and borrowing of compound. So if you want to understand compound better, you can watch this video up here. So now back to here. So he stick the YSD, uh, sorry, the USDC into compound and he's gaining some APY on that. It's close, slowly accumulating, accumulating. And then when he wants to withdraw, he would get back all of his USDC plus the incur um, the interest that has been incurring. So also, whenever you interact with Compound, whenever you borrow there, lend there, they give you comp tokens. So these are tokens that you could also sell. They're the governance tokens of comp, the rewards that you get from using comp, and they're also of value. So you can sell those on the market. So they will go back to Idle Finance. And Idle Finance is currently also giving the idle token, I showed you this before, it was like 3,600 or something per day on uh, the die, right? Or I can't remember the exact number, but you get the point. So right now it's currently three times the normal amount. So this is why this protocol is kind of appealing right now. It's kind of in a, a stage of like incentivization, you know, come on, come in, come in, come in, come in. We're going to give you a whole bunch of these tokens. So these tokens, again, they are of value and they can be sold at market. So idle tokens, you know, so the reward, this person, when they're finished and they decide, oh, I want to get my investment out, they will get back their USDC, they will get back their USD interest, and they will get these two tokens as well. So they can claim these back into their wallet and they can sell them at market. They can also claim them at any time and sell them at market. So it's pretty simple, straightforward. That's what the idle protocol is doing. So now let's say he's a little more savvy and he does a little more research and he finds urine finance. And he's like, oh, look at Yearn Finance. These guys, they know what they're doing. I'm gonna give my USDC to them instead. So he takes the USDC and he sticks it in the Yearn Vault, that first page I showed you at the start. And the Yearn Vault gives him back a Yearn Idle USDC. So I'll give him back a different token than this one, but it's, it functions the same way. It gives him a share of this pool. So how is this pool going to be different than this pool? The YS, the USDC that he put into this pool is going to go down into, it, this vault is going to stick it into the idle and the idle is going to give this vault the idle USDC token. Okay. And the rewards that come from comp and the rewards that come from the idle tokens, the idle protocol itself, this vault will actually harvest them every once in a while. So it's going to take these vault tokens, these reward tokens from both compound and idle and harvest them, you know, take them back. Then it's going to take them to the market, Uniswap right now, and sell them for more USDC. And when this USDC goes into the vault, they're going to stick it inside. So when he comes along and he's like, hey, I want my money back, he's going to give back this token to the vault and the vault is just going to give him a large share of USDC. So it makes his life a little simpler. He has one token in and one token out. He doesn't have to worry about these rewards. He doesn't have to worry about occasionally, you know, selling them at market for more. He just can let the vault take care of that for him. 
Okay. And the last thing I want to mention that the strategist who built this, he's also changed it so that it doesn't matter if compound gets changed. Let's say Idle decides to use Caesar's sandwichry. This is not a real protocol. It's just something I've made up right now. So let's say they've decided to stick the USDC in here instead. And um, let's say Caesar sandwichry gives back Caesar tokens as a reward. So the vault will be ready for these. It doesn't matter what this token is. The vault can harvest it and sell it at, Uni at Uniswap for, YU or for USDC. And it also the vault in the future, it's quite easy for them to swap these tokens so they can quickly easily build it. So another vault that uses USD, USDT or all of these different tokens that are here, you can quickly change this vault to cover them all or make a new strategy that will allow for these other tokens. Okay, so that pretty much covers the strategy in full. I hope it's been helpful and useful and hello, thank you so much for watching and um, if you'd like to support the channel, there are a few ways you can help me out a lot. Number one is I have a Gitcoin grant. This is a pretty unique way to help out. Basically the way this, this system works is if you supply me with any kind of donation, then the protocol itself will also match your donation with like an increasing amount, the more and the more the people donate to me. So for example, if you were to give me one die, the protocol will give me four die, which is great, you know, so your one die can go a long way. So please feel free to come here and check this out. You know, link to this will be in the description. Another way you could support me is by going to YGIFT, link in the description. And here, this where this says collect for me, it would say tip. You tip this and uh, you could give me some YUSD if you want. And uh, that would definitely help me out quite a bit. Um, another way you could support me is you could check out my Rarible store and purchase an NFT. Now the best kind of support is just you watching my videos and liking them and subscribing. So if you did that, thanks so much for doing that and uh, goodbye.